by the bag, go get the money. Count that cash, then back to the money. Put that on repeat. Go get the bag, go get the bag, cause that's how we coming. Part of the section at the same time as I'm uh, as I did my last video. If you notice, I have the same clothes on that I have in the last video and all that good stuff. And in the rest of this video, if I had to guess, you're probably going to see me with different clothes on. But like I said, the reason why is because I'm doing this at a separate time. But what I want y'all to see right quick is kind of how these cars look a lot of times before I buy them, um, how I get them, what I normally choose to do, and how I go about choosing my methods of selling them. Um, this car right here real quick that I'm about to show you, I paid like maybe a thousand dollars for it. Um, got it. It was completely junky. Uh, let me turn the camera around and show you. All right. So if, as you see, like I just removed all the trash from the trunk, still a bunch of leaves and stuff. Did the same thing on the inside. I just took all the carpets out, took all the trash and stuff that was out on the sides. Um, it's all the change and stuff that I found on the floor in the car. Just clean all these areas up. Uh, as you see, it's still a bunch of ashes and stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of pointless to show you all my trash, but yeah, it's a bunch of stuff I just took out of the car. So my next step, my next step that I plan on doing is to come out here with a vacuum, vacuum all of this stuff up, vacuum all of those ashes and stuff up, all of that good stuff. And then I'm going to, I got some spray that I'm going to clean these seats with. I'm going to wipe all of these seats down take the car paint it um let's put the camera back i'm going to take the car i'm going to paint it i mean I'm, I'm sorry i'm not going to paint it in this case um i don't want to put that amount of time into it or money for the most part but right now with the pandemic and everything going on let me scratch it right now with everything going on um i don't want to say that word because it'll mess with the youtube monetization uh, with everything going on, cars are going really fast, and it's kind of hard to get them into a paint shop because everybody's going there because everybody has the money to do it. So I'm not going to paint the car. Um, the car also needs some bearings and struts. I may get that fixed. As of right now, I'm just going to clean it up, wash it off, armor all the tires, see if I can resell it just strictly as is. Um, if it doesn't sell within a week, more than likely I'm going to go back in have um have my mechanic look at it see what all needs to be replaced try to keep that cost maybe at about under five hundred dollars and once everything is done um as far as getting repairs and stuff um i'll probably end up selling the car for about maybe 25 somewhere between 2500 and maybe about 3300 dollars if i actually have to do more work to it um right now like i said i have a deal going where i'll basically end up paying or giving the person who owns the car a thousand dollars in order to do this transaction, and if if I can keep that situation going correctly, um, I'm probably going to end up selling this car for about two thousand. Probably post it for about maybe twenty four, twenty five hundred as it is, just to see if I can sell it. Um, that gives me over, a little bit over a thousand dollars. If I have to fix something that puts me about fifteen hundred dollars in, I'll sell it for about three thousand, thirty five hundred. Um, Yeah, and I'll still make, and if that's the case, I'll make about 1500 or a little bit more. So those are my options when it comes to this car, and I'll let y'all know what's up when it gets sold. All right, y'all, so I'm back with the car. I done made a couple updates that I want to show y'all. Switch this camera around real quick. As y'all can see, the seats and stuff look a lot better. I cleaned them up. I'm using some tough stuff, tough stuff car cleaner. The ashtray is a lot better. I got rid of all that crap that was in here. Wiped it down in, on the inside just a little bit. I replaced the door handle here. That seat belt, I um, I have the replacement for it. I just haven't got around to it yet. Let's see the back there. Same thing for the back seats. I just cleaned them up real quick. Cleaned the floors and stuff. Got the car smelling good. Just decent. Make sure it's drivable. Go back and look at the trunk. You saw I had all the um, all the grass and stuff in it. It doesn't look bad as it's showing on the phone, but it's a lot cleaner than what it was. A couple extra parts and stuff that I just got laying around in the car. So all in all, the car is pretty much decent. I'm expecting it to sell anywhere between 500 to 1,000 over what I paid for it. Probably finna drive around back. Anywhere between 500 to 1,000 over what I paid for. I just got rid of the GMC Jimmy. 
I sold it for less than I wanted to. I think I made about 600 bucks on it. Um, kept it for a little bit longer than I wanted to also, but it's not bad. I think I kept it for about maybe three weeks. Uh, still made about five, 600. So that's about $200 a week. I'm not mad at that. I didn't have to do anything to it. Switch this camera back around right quick. I just want y'all to see the dash. Car comes on extremely quietly. Um, it's a couple lights and stuff on still in here. I got the struts fixed. Um, the SRS and seatbelt light, uh, they're going to be on until I, you know, of course get that seat replaced. The maintenance required light is probably just due to, due to a tune-up. The check engine light is on there because of an oil change. And that IMA light is right there because of a, um, a slightly dead battery. One that needs to be charged. You'll see that kind of often inside of um, these Honda hybrids when the, when the battery is starting to go dead. Um, like I said, all in all, this is a pretty good car. Hopefully I can get it get it going soon. Time for me to go ahead and get back in the shop. As y'all can tell, the sun is going down. So that means it's time for me to get ready for work. I see y'all in the next video. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I don't know if I did or not, talking a lot in this video. I just sold a GMC Jimmy. I think I did mention that. But um, just for me repeating it, go ahead and like, subscribe to the channel. Um, check out all my links and stuff below in the description. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comment section. The next vehicle that you want to see me do, anything that you can think of, leave that down in the comment section. Um, if you want to know what I clean this car with, like I said earlier, I use tough stuff on the seats. Um, once again, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Have a good one. How about a bag? Go get the money. Count that cash and back to the money. Put that on repeat. Go get the bag. Go get the bag. Cause that's how we coming.